And now you just let the thing separate. There you go. Hey, oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that one shot. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I figured you were uh, in sleeping this morning that you we were getting the back your back pain to go away. I was pretty wet when I got done. Oh, I'd imagine. That right there, boys and girls, that's like 30 sec 35 seconds, 45 seconds, and that sucker's mounted. Tell me that boy ain't put some tires together before in his life. John, grab that. Don't turn that air on, baby person. And I'm going to sit and watch him. <laughs> the, the cheetah helps, too. The cheetah's a cheetah. I was, I was here when his dad bought that. Cause you got tired of blowing up tires. Starting fluid. Starting fluid, yep. The day I blew the one off the forklift out on the out on the field, that was the day I said, you know, maybe I should quit doing this. Ow, yeah. Okay, so time to get a new tree to blew that one off. Holy cow. I got that on. I got that on video. I can watch that back and I can watch that a dozen times now. So, so Brent said his his, his wife was telling him that when he was forty, he could have done all those tires in an hour. And you know what? He done a pretty good job. He didn't do too bad. He's only got two more to go. So, while I while I sit and watch. Cause it's just easier for me to film than actually work. <laughs> yeah. I'll bet it hurt. Yeah. It's, it's it's outlived. It's uh, what are we using here for a valve? Is that a uh, that's not the official valve that was on it, is it? Yeah. Is it? Mm. Okay. Okay, so, all right, okay, okay. I've never seen that work before. So then what do you, oh, wow, that's actually, that's actually kind of handy. Starting that out again. Let's see him do it. It's more. It's way more fun to sit here and watch him do this. But he's younger than me, so. Yeah, you are. You're like a year, year and a half, something like that. I am impressed, though. I got to admit. That's thirty seconds. Yeah, without blowing the thing up and tearing stuff apart. So you could have done them all in an hour, but you didn't have to. If you didn't have to take them all. Hey, that's my pet cat. Let me just see that for a second. Hey, this one will take you. Nope, you lost it. We'll put more in it. Sorry. Okay, everybody back up. I got, over, I got over ambitious. When I opened it, I did the last one. 
What do you mean you got over ambitious? I open the valve. Well, that's what you're supposed to do, aren't you? Yeah, but. Oh, all right. Okay, everybody get out of the way. He's going to blow it up again. Okay, that was much better. No pain involved in that one, so. I have to teach Miguel because yeah, sure. he's younger than both of us. Yeah, I know. Let him do it. He can figure it out. Okay, here we go. We're going to break. Oh, <laughs> ah, that's not even fair. You didn't even have to break that one. I just put some soap on it. Put some soap on it. And, he can get, and I could even show him how to do that. I, I've done a few of these. So, Miguel, stand on it. It's easier. And just yeah, then soap it. There you go. You're as fat as us. Come on, you can do this. I just put my knee on it, but I get your pants. Yeah, but he's shorter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are bad. I've got a little life left in my body. That's Miguel's pet rat right there. Huh? That's his new pet rat. Pet rat? Right there. <laughs> Looks like a rat going around there. Okay, right here, yeah. So when you drop it on the ground, it doesn't mess up the wheel. Okay, Miguel's gonna do his first tire. Yep. So, okay, I can't film it showing at the same time. Come on, you gotta show him so I can film it now. Yeah. Show him out. Well, I don't care how you do it, just so he can get it out. Oh, where'd you get the other bar? See you? Oh, okay. Probably should have, probably should have done it the other way. Go faster. There you go. There you go. Pass that so it doesn't so it doesn't smack you when it comes loose. No, 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 grab a hold. There you go. Now you see now you see where height comes in. <laughs> there it goes. There it goes. You got it. All right, Miguel's first time. First one. So we caught Miguel right in the middle of third tire. So go ahead, Miguel. Finish this up and let's see how he does. Let's see how well we've taught him. So go further out. Go further out. This way, Miguel. Other way. Other way. That way right there. Underneath. Inside. There you go. Now pull. Straight across. Walk straight across. There you go. Same thing. Go, now go back down there a little bit. And it, should, it should actually come out. So this is Miguel's this is Miguel's third tire. So we're we're having fun. Now, so pick it up. Pick it up and take the bar with the with the with the thing. Okay? So there's a specific way of doing this. This bar right here, hold on. This bar right here has a little 
This is a catch. There's a reason for that being there. So turn it over and up underneath. So push the wheel in, up underneath, grab it. Now roll it flat and set it down. Whoops. Okay, so here, you hold, the, you hold this. I'll show you. You hold this. Okay, so here we go. So this is what it is. You grab it right here, you bring it up. You grab it right here. Basically, hey, you just let it fall out. It should fall out. Come on. There it is. We'll just help a little more. A little more. Stubborn. Okay? Oh, good boy. So that's all it is. So now you're going to do the last one. Okay? Me? You. I'm going to watch you do the last one. Okay, one more. So we'll pick this wheel up. This is busting tires. Spooning tires. You want to spoon tires. This is how you spoon tires, boys and girls. Fortunately, they're braking pretty easy. They're coming off the bead really easy. So he's going to put some soap on. Yes, I can still brake tires. Do I want to at 60? No. I'd, I'd rather let somebody else do it. <laughs> That's, let, <laughs> let's be honest. I'd rather let somebody else do it. Okay, got the soap on, pick it up. Soap the other side. Make sure you step on it, make sure you... Bead's broke. Gotta break the bead. I'm gonna watch him do this one. Cause I forgot to film the one time he did it. <laughs> I had to make him do others. <sighs> kind of showing him if he ever has to have a real job. This is a job, by the way. Anybody who does tires, I have a mad respect for anybody who breaks down truck tires. These things are a pain. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Other side, you got to roll it over. The big side always has to come out. I don't know why, it's, it's the way it's designed, but so you take your top out. Now you do what, you, what I showed you. Two, two bars. Oops, runaway, runaway wheel. Runaway wheel. Two bars. It's all right, it'll, it'll come, it's a, it'll stop. Both of them at the same time. Now step over, put your, put your foot, look, you hear me go. Yep, there you go, perfect, perfect. There you break it out, come down with it. Make sure that, yeah, that's down. And then step in the middle and pull on it. There you go, that's what breaks, that's what breaks it. Now pull the one out and go over, there you go, there you go. There you go, come across. Yep, that's how you do it. That's exactly how you do it, right there. And usually that'll pop out by itself, Miguel. There you go. Okay. Now take take the one with the with the thing on it. There you go. That one. Yep. Take that one. Stick the bar in. Make sure you catch that bar. And make sure it goes flat when you do it. Goes in. Goes flat. And now you just let the thing separate. There you go. Oh, look at that! <laughs> look at that one shot!
not check your check, on, check and see if it's on your the right number. I think that other one might hit. Miguel was just saying he is so glad he worked on the farm and not on trucks. Okay, so we're gonna do the second side. Got the cap saw. Got Miguel under there going around putting the jack underneath it. And then Brent's filling up the Earl in the hub. Yep, I think that one's got enough. Here. Let me just put the rag under Okay. It's full. Plenty full. So the nice shiny wheel. Got to get some new hub, some new lug nut covers. You can get bullet ones now, right? <laughs> you don't want the bullet ones, the spikes. I'm gonna videotape. I'm gonna videotape Miguel doing it this time. I did the first one, showed him how it's done. Miguel's Miguel's a farmer. He's a lucky guy. He didn't have to deal with trucks. This is his first time dealing with trucks. So we're showing him a whole new world. Yep. Turn that. Yep. Turn that. Make sure it's going. Yep. Okay. All right. There you go. Brent's a lot better at this. Brent's a lot better at this than I am. He's a pro. Oh. Yes. I'm happy. Your boys, your grand, your grandkids are going to see this. They're going to go, look, it's Pappy out there changing tires. And then they're going to go, that should be Kevin's job. <laughs> We're good at it, though. I'm not. It's been years since I changed tires. Okay, we're on the second side. Peterbilt's got brand new shoes. Anti-season silicone. Brent says, it's the devil. If you use it, it'll end up in places it shouldn't end up. I'll just leave it at that. That was the statement that was made. <laughs> in places it doesn't belong. Yeah, that's bad stuff. Everybody, everybody says, oh yeah, anti-season. Get it all over you. Just touch it. Walk by the bottle. You're gonna show us this the other way? Come on, you do it. I wanna see you do it. I don't, I, uh -uh, turn around, other way. I watched, I paid attention. Let's see if I paid attention. Now, there you go. Okay, okay. That's a whole lot easier than that other way. Okay, we admit that's the easy way to do it, but now we gotta figure out how to do it on the opposite side. Yeah, you figure out the other side. Oh, we made Miguel earn his lunch on this one. Okay. We're gonna try our new golden rod. We're gonna do it twice. We're gonna see if we can get it all the way off. We just went to YouTube University and we learned something. Okay, grab that deal. Come this way, put it in. So, so kick it down and do it. Okay, go ahead, all the way. Oh, now I don't wanna go in. There you go. Pull it off. Okay, so this deep. Don't take it out. Don't, yeah. Don't take it out when you do it. Don't take it out. Step across. Okay, now go. I'll go back under me. Oh, no. Now go underneath the other. Or go up and underneath the other bead. Did that go under? He showed. Okay, so when he showed it, he oh, got to go inside. No, 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 no. 
He showed doing this. So push, so lift that up. So what he showed was this. And what, oh, sorry, hold this, Miguel. Film me if something. do something. <laughs> so he went like this, and then, yeah, like that. Okay, so that's what he showed doing. And now, you're off. Okay, that's so much better. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I would have never figured that out on my own. That's not bad, huh? That's much easier. Okay. Brent, okay. I want y'all to know, Brent's too chicken to do the video. I don't want to be in the video. He's cameraman. All right, so let's try this. Okay, so here, in we go, right? I lift the tire up. Did I get it? No, I think you gotta lift this side up. Yeah. Now it's on, probably. It's no, so you gotta turn it back up. Like that. <laughs> I hope you got that on video. Kind of fitting after the day, the week we had of breaking down tires the weekend. <laughs> We've got 13, 13 tires broken down yesterday that we come out here to the truck show end off the weekend because we love trucks we don't want to drive them for a living anymore but we love them and brent's got a, a bunch of them we want to fix and get some stuff done and so we put all those new tires on that peterbilt that peterbilt's one of the ones we want to get fixed up so we're at the truck show checking out some trucks i'll get you some pictures oh yeah for sure like this like these old internationals over here Got a project truck I'd like to build. 58 Spartan Chevy. And I'd really like to build, but I don't think I'll ever have the money to get it built. These are ones my wife really likes. She's like, those are cool. That international is pretty cool. You gotta give it that, that old international on top. Pretty cool. Okay, I gotta do a throwback here. Back to Dick Simon. Don't even exist anymore, really. The company that Brent used to actually haul for before he hauled for a company that I drove for back in the day. Yep, sweet Simon. Yep, got to get some video. Got to show you some trucks. Of course, then my favorite, my favorite trailer of all time, I'm going to tell you, is that tailgater right over there. The guy's got a smoker in there, just exactly the way I need to, tr to be a trucker. With a smoker, TVs on it. Oh yeah, that's how I'll drive truck again. Hauling the smoker around, that's the way to go. Hauling the smoker around. Check these guys out. Sweet. Some of the local guys here. All right. Okay, both the wife and I agree. That's kind of spiffy. Kind of spiffy, an older truck. I'm going to say late 70s, early 80s. I could be wrong. Somebody can identify that for me. I haven't got the date on it, but oh yeah. Nice, 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 nice. And you got the milk, the milk, the milk money boys over there. Yeah, sand and gravel haulers, they say. I say milk haulers. I did not. Here's a uh, here's a Hulk truck. My wife says, Martha says, this is a Hulk. Look at the green on that. Look at the green on that. Ain't that spiffy? Look at it on the sunny side. That's sharp. That's pretty. All right. So I know I'm spending too much time looking at trucks, and I'm a farmer. But you know what? We like trucks. We like trucks. Yeah, they just unloaded Okay, steampunk. We're looking at steampunk here, guys. This is steampunk truck. Toter. Oh, it's a, it's a uh, wrecker. Probably a rollback, yeah? Yep. 
Okay, this one, this one's a little bit more nostalgic for me. I used to drive for this guy. They didn't have trucks like this when I drove one. This is when I, when I got out of the military, I went to drive for Ralph Smith hauling dirt. And it was not trucks like this. I can tell you right now, not a single truck like that. That's kind of a nice truck. So yeah, fresh out of the army, hauling belly dumps to the airport in Salt Lake City, hauling dirt. Just as kind of a uh, deal, you can see that's got a million eight hundred and forty-eight thousand four hundred forty-six miles, almost two million miles on this truck. Two thousand three. C16 cat. Cool. Cool. Okay, I can get away with this one as a farmer at least because it's a bull wagon. So, but I believe that truck used to haul rodeo horses back in the day when I was a kid. I used to go to the rodeos because that's my scarrows. They used to be rodeo contractors. So, the horses I used to ride sometimes, some of their stuff. Yep. Got some pretty cool trucks. Anybody who might be curious, that's a trailer. That is a live floor. That is not a live floor. It's a belt trailer. Look at the axles on this thing. I don't know what he's legal at, but he can haul a lot of stuff. So he's got one, two, three dedicated axles, three lift axles. He can haul a lot of stuff. Live bottom trailer considered to be a belt trailer. And that has got a lot of stuff on it. I mean, come on, how often do you come upon a purple truck that size? That's pretty. And then you got this one. I, I like the I like the flames. Not as well as I like another set of flames on a truck that's about to go away, I've been told. But uh Yeah, it didn't really flame, it's more smoky, yeah, I agree. Those are sharp though, sharp looking truck. 